This is the new Hero 4 Black, GoPro's top-of-the-line monster sports camera. It features a similar design to its previous two brothers, the Hero 3 and Hero 3 Plus. But don't be fooled, this tiny little camera packs the all-new A9 SoC, capturing an astonishing 4K at 30 frames per second. Its $500 price tag makes it GoPro's most expensive release to date. But can the hefty price tag be justified? We're going to be looking at the many new features the Hero 4 Black has, and there are quite a few. We'll briefly touch on these new features and delve deeper in future episodes. Hey, so the first thing that I want to do is go over the different resolutions and frame rates that the GoPro Hero 4 has. I also want to just say that this camera is very customizable. When you enable ProTune, you get a bunch of different features you could turn on, turn off, or adjust. So I'm going to get into that stuff right now. Turning on Wi-Fi is done by holding down the settings or tag button on the side. While using 4K, 30 frames per second and 24 frames per second are available. ProTune can be enabled, which gives you more control. You can adjust the white balance, the color, ISO, sharpness, and the exposure. 2.7K now has higher frames per second, giving you 24, 30, and 48 frames per second. Small upgrade from the Hero 3 Plus. 1440p mode has a maximum frames per second of 80. For 1080p, there's a maximum of 120 frames per second. And I'm a little upset about 720p not having 240 frames per second, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you are too. WVGA still only supports 240 frames per second. Superview is now available for 4K, 2.7K, 1080p, and 720p. And of course, you can adjust all of these settings right on the camera itself. So we just looked at all the frame rates and resolutions that the GoPro Hero 4 has. I'm a little upset about 720p mode not having 200 frames per second. Also a little upset that WVGA mode doesn't have 480 frames per second. Um, I'm a little confused though about 720p mode only supporting 120 frames per second because on the A9 spec sheet it says that 240 frames per second should be supported. So there's a possibility that in the near future GoPro may release a firmware upgrade which will you know bump that frame rate up a little bit. I'm really hoping so. Another thing, 4K is not actual cinema 4K, uh, 4096, it's only 3840. The previous GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black and GoPro Hero 3 Black supported cinema 4K, 4096, but only at 12 frames per second. So there's also a possibility, hopefully, that GoPro will release a firmware that will give us cinema 4K. So the next thing that I want to look at is night photos and night time lapses. So the GoPro Hero 4 has an adjustable shutter speed and adjustable ISO, unlike all the previous GoPros that came out. So let's take a look at that. One new feature I'm really interested in is night lapse. The Hero 4 now lets you change the shutter speed and ISO, which allows you to take night pictures and most importantly, night time lapses. Here's a night lapse I shot using an ISO of 400 with a shutter speed of 20 seconds and an interval of 20 seconds. I suggest doing a star night lapse while the moon is not visible. You also want to be in a location that's completely dark. We just looked at the new night mode photo and night time lapse feature built into the Hero 4 Black Edition. I'm really excited that GoPro gave us the ability to do that with this camera. Just remember, if you want to get a good shot of the stars, you got to be in a really dark location. With night mode photo, you can also do light trails, and I'll probably be doing a video on that in the near future. So now we need to figure out whether or not the $500 price tag is worth it. Well, if we look at other cameras out in the market today, not many shoot 4K, and if they do support 4K, you're going to have to spend at least $1,000. The GoPro Hero 4 is $500, and you get 4K at a reasonable frame rate. 24 frames per second and 30 frames per second. Not only does the GoPro do 4K, but there's also other resolutions at really good frame rates. And like I said before, night mode photos and night time lapses are now supported, which makes it seem like GoPro is trying to open up to a wide variety of people. If your main focus is to figure out if you want the Hero 4 Silver or the Hero 4 Black, well, the Hero 4 Silver is just a Hero 3 Plus Black Edition, but with a built-in LCD screen. 
So if you don't really care about the built-in LCD screen on the Hero 4 Silver, you might as well just go get a Hero 3 Plus Black Edition because the prices are a little cheaper now. So is the Hero 4 Black Edition worth $500? I would definitely say yes. Because of the 4K capabilities, the higher frame rates, and the ability to shoot pictures at night, it makes it worth $500. Now I'm curious to hear, what do you guys think? Do you think it's worth $500? Like I said before, this is just a quick little overview of the Hero 4 Black. I have a ton more videos planned, so if you want to stay up to date with them, I would definitely subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for a video, leave them down in the comments below. And that pretty much wraps up this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a like. That helps me out a lot. Any comments or questions, obviously, you can leave them down below. And like I said before, don't forget to subscribe because I have a lot planned to do with the Hero 4 Black. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.